Hi, I'm Jordan Baker, and I chose to do um, Native American instruments for my paper, and I covered the Northwest Coastal Region, the Southwest, Southeast Region, the Northeast Region, and the Plains Region um, for instruments. And so I chose to do this because the common aspects um, behind these four regions they're, they all have similar instruments, but they're all different and unique to their own region. So the similarities would be that they all have either either or um, rattles, drums, flutes, or whistles. And depending on the region, the musical instruments are made differently, made from different materials. They can even be used differently and have different histories behind them. Um, so the first um, region that I talked about was the Northwest Coastal Region, and the first, one of the, I kind of listed out the instruments that are in the region, and I chose to talk about one specifically, and so the first one listed is rattles, and I have pictures to go along with it, um, and then they also use log drums, so these are made out of wood, and they're hollow on the inside, um, they also use hand drums. This is the one I chose to talk about, so we'll come back to that one. A box drum. I like the paintings on this one. And then they also use a dual chamber whistle, and these are just the most popular ones. Obviously, they have more. Um, so the hand drum, this one, um, is used for ceremonies and giveaway feasts um, and is associated with the songs and the dancing that they do at these ceremonies and it's important because it helps them keep the tempo or the beats. Um, and then the sounds that these make also are believed to have a meaning behind them that represent the spirits um, of their ancestors. And so in most regions, the large drums are used for powwows, but in the Northwest Coastal region, so they would pretty much in other regions have one big drum that everyone hits. And in the Northwest Coast region, they don't really do that as much. They tend to have their own individual drums and then huddle together or walk in a line or somehow uh, come together and use each one of their drums separately. Um, the, they're also believed to use them for things that are called shamans, um, and these are players that are able mm -hmm. to use the drums to communicate with the spirits. So in the Northwest Coast, they, they use their drums for that a lot also. Um, then in the Southeast region, they have the coconut rattle. This is one of my favorites. The turtle shell rattle which is really cool because they're using their resources to make this one. The water drum. And the can-like rattles. Um, in this one, I chose to talk about the rattles. And these go back in history for a pretty long time. Um, and they've been used for years also to um, help in the ceremonies and to help keep the rhythm but they're also worn as jewelry. Um, they can be made of different things. This one's made of turtle shells. And the rattles create a sound for the dancers to dance to. Um, so they're just very unique in their own sound and add to the songs. Um, the southeast area mainly makes their rattles out of coconut or turtle shells. But in other re uh, regions, they can make them out of animals, the earth, different things. Um, materials that they have and these also come with a lot of symbolism because they represent independence um, they're also used to represent three different kingdoms so the first kingdom or nation is the animal kingdom the second one's the plant kingdom and the third one's the mineral kingdom um, the animal kingdom can be represented by feather decorations that are on the rattles and the plant kingdom can be represented by the wood or the gourd that they use in the, ma the making of the rattles. And then the last one is the plant kingdom, and it can be represented um, 
or I'm sorry, it's the mineral kingdom, and it can be represented by the rocks that are attached to the rattles. And then they can also represent the minerals through the paintings that they can put on them or different things like that. Um, then the next region is the northeast region. And the first instrument for them is the cow, cow horn rattle, which I thought was really cool. You can see the different designs and the arches in it. And then the next one... They also use the water drum, which I already showed, and then they also have clappers, and these are really cool looking. They look like they were hand carved. And then they also have the end blown flute. And so the flute is the one I chose to talk about in this one. And I researched a little bit about the history of the flute and where it came from. And it, the story that goes along with the flute, because in Native American history, it's based on stories and how, you know, they sing their songs to tell stories. And so the story behind the flute is that um, a young boy was very interested in this beautiful young girl that he had seen. And he had done all different kinds of things to try to get her attention, but he wasn't able to do that. And so he had kind of given up and gotten, you know, sad about it. and um, so one day he was walking into the woods and he sat down next to a tree. He looked up and saw a woodpecker pecking on a hollow log and or a hollow tree. And the woodpecker pecked so long that the branch that he was pecking on actually fell. And then the wind was blowing and so whenever the log fell, the or the branch fell, the wind was blowing and the boy noticed that it was creating music through this branch because the branch was hollow and had holes in it already. So he picked it up and he blew into it and he found out that, you know, by putting his fingers over certain holes, it made different pitches. Well, the girl heard it and she came into the woods and she fell in love with him and what he had been making or the music he had made. And so that's the story of where the flute came from and the flute can be used for many different things the ceremonies um, the feast it can also be used for courting which um, the last region the southeast they have a courting flute um, but it's traditionally made with branches and the shorter the branch the higher the pitch there will be and the longer the branch the lower the pitch will be and then the last region I'm sorry, it's the Plains region, not the Southeast. The last one is um, the Pow Wow Drum. I think these are cool because they're so big. Um, the Cording Flute, which I just mentioned. And the bells that they can wear. Um, the Gourd Rattle. And then the last one is jingles, or they're also worn on jingle dresses, which is what I chose to talk about. Um, and the story that we learned in this one in our class, or via online, was about the young girl. Um, her grandpa was very sad because his granddaughter was sick, and he wanted to make her well, so he had a dream and had prayed to the spirits. So they sent him a dream, and... Um, told him to make a medicine dress and put the jingles on it and decorate it and then if she wore it she would be healed and so she wore it and it became very popular because it did heal her and so now they have just different dances that they wear these jingle dresses in um, the jingles are made of metal cones and they cre just create a unique musical sound um, and these are still worn and performed on today so those were the regions that I picked and the instruments I used. And I just kind of went into a, a brief history and storyline for each one or each region, one instrument. Um, but I just found it really interesting because all the instruments tell a story. They're all used to tell stories through their songs. Um, and they're all created so 